Greetings everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome to Spotlight, a light-hearted tale about two childhood friends, Juanita Santos and Jean Lee, on a quest to return a cell phone to their classmate, an admittedly forgetful but cute witch, and a bound of this game are going to be shenanigans and hopefully enlightening, heartening wonders. And we can already see that by the visual aesthetics of the game as well. Brought to you by the same developer who made the RPG Maker horror game called Timerlight, which also features an equally cute protagonist. Let's start the game. Hey, Jane. Doesn't this look interesting? Sure. Why don't we join this club? It's our senior area, after all. No, thank you. Please? Nope. Just do this for me. I would prefer not to. But we never do anything fun together. We went hiking just last week. Hmm, the sound of me. Uh, I'm gonna need to turn. Yeah, I need to turn my game audio down up just a little bit. I hope that's better for you guys, because that is quite loud on my ears. So, turn it down from five, four is fine. I was nearly pushed off a cliff. Yeah, good times, eh? For you, maybe, but I prefer to live long enough to reach my 18th birthday. I've already lived long enough to reach my 18th birthday, and some more. Like, nearly seven more by now. I can assure you it's nothing special. You're not missing out on much. That's not what you told me, dear honey pups. Okay, I lied, but you'll understand when you're my age. Right. Just check out this poster, already killed Joy. You very well know my self-worth and emotional well-being rides on my grades. Fine, fine, I'll go check out this nerd class of yours, Joanne. About time, the... Paranormal and Occult Research Club. <laughs> A cheeky tongue on there. I'll proofread your essays and draw over all your textbooks. You do that anyway. I'll buy you lunch for a weekend. <sighs> no, that's fine. I'll do your chores for a month. Deal. I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Yep. But no take backs. Noel reminds me of this character here. Could I at least say my last words? No time. Save that for practice. Audition starting one week. Oh, uh, great. Just my luck. And time's a wasting. Let's get moving. A week's still a decent amount of time to rehearse. No, I meant seventh period started already. And you didn't wait to tell me sooner? I was waiting for you to notice the time. I've got a free period, so you're on your own, buddy. Ah, don't leave me on my own. What the heck? Don't just abandon me, you jerk. No way, where's the fun in that? You're the worst. I know. By the way, I saw your teacher's name on the bulletin board, too. Wait, what? Yeah, did you really think I'd throw you under the bus? Nope, I'd throw you under a steamroller and watch you flatten. While having a, pop of, a box of popcorns to eat while you're being flattened. That's what kind of tale I would entail. I can't believe one whole week has passed. I could have sworn it's only been a few seconds. Just ignore it, Juan. But don't think about it. Like, we have more practice, sorry, pressing matters anyway. Why don't we need to dress up, So why do we need to dress up for your auditions? I don't know, but frankly, I don't care as long as I look fabulous. But why are you wearing your pajamas and cooking apron with last year's Halloween costume? Because I don't want to worry about picking a pretty costume for a play my best friend wrote me to. Well, you certainly pulled it off. Whatever it is you're going for. Can't you tell I'm a witch? That's not n nice of you to say. And you? 
Oh, whoops, sorry about that, Midori. That is right. Just please don't make that mistake again. I don't think I've ever seen you around, Midori. I'm Juantia Santos, but my friends call me Juan for short. So, what do you say? Let's be friends. Yeah. I always have that question mark on my... above forehead. Damn, she's really shy. Was it something I said? Nah. I don't think anyone's ever been able to have a full conversation with her all year. How did you know Greenie anyway? Greenie? Really? She has green hair, therefore she's Greenie. No, everyone has a name, you know. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that, Juan. But she's some witch from the chemistry class. A witch? Is that supposed to be a figure of speech? No, literal. She set Kevin's eyebrows on fire once. Wow, I wish I could have seen that. Well, yes, it was very funny at the time, before the whole classroom burnt down and my friends were all in a cauldron at the same time being incinerated out of their own will and Noel joining as well in the incineration not being incinerated okay he's the last one to be incinerated okay he watches the incineration happen and then he gets incinerated himself if you don't know what I'm talking about these crudic jokes you can play time and I to see where the sort of personality comes from yeah well it's very funny Though that still doesn't sound like a witch, Sheen. Tell that to Kevin's eyebrows. I never liked Kevin or his eyebrows anyway. Dwan, just trust me when I say she's a witch. Fine, but that's only because you're like the brother I never wanted. But you do have brothers? Your point? Well... And there's a smartphone. Hey, look at this, she drops her phone. Ah, don't touch that! Or what? I don't know, just don't. <laughs> what do you take me for, Jean? I'm going to... I'm going to return this to her and... Ah! Oh, now what? Looks like we're going to miss our auditions now. As much as I'm happy about that. Why? I think I opened an app and yep, we're dead. If anyone up there can hear me, please let us live. Please let us die. That's good. Oi, if you two scoundrels are done sleeping by something, or well get out of here. Get the hell out of here. The paranormal and occult research club's going to be so jealous. Uh, what? I can't believe demons exist. Or if witches could exist, then demons can too. I thought they were made up like the Easter Bunny. Okay, let's just take it too far now. Some of our classmates are demons, Dwan. Hey, I'm a dragon, you dolts. Oh, whoops, sorry about that, Draco. Don't call me that. Now scram before I personally kick you two out. Yeeks. Yeah, don't mess with dragons. Unless you want your butt bitten off. I always thought dragons were butt biters. Oh, uh, but we can't leave just yet. Sorry. I'm Dwan to Santos, and he's Jean Lee. We're not from around here. We're lost. You don't say. Hmm. I normally don't give out my name to just about anybody, but which boy here looks way too pathetic? Hey! So listen up, losers. The name's Aizen. Aizen's a pretty name. Yeah, yeah. I love for you to stay around and loiter, but I already have one idiot in my life. Oh, really? Who? Wait. Are you talking about Sabrina Mallory? Why the heck? Are you two creeps or something? We're Sabrina's friends. <laughs> now that's rich. She has no friends. But what does that make you? An enemy. But you two are wearing matching outfits. Like I said, an enemy. Um. But seriously, how do you two know her? Chemistry class. Drama club. Hmm, okay then. Oh, good. Wait. Just, why am I even talking to you two? Running this stall is my own... Sorry, sorry, running this stall on my own is tiresome as it is. You're running this all by yourself? 
It's a school project, so Sabrina's supposed to be here. But she's off. She ran off earlier. That means, yeah, tell me about it. Ah, uh, so you don't know where she is then? Yeah, we've been trying to find her. Why? She dropped her phone. We've been trying to return it. I really hate that moron. We could just use that app and leave the phone with you, but the battery's dead. Interdimensional travel takes a lot of power, especially with this phone. She should really upgrade it soon. Yeah, to have a double life battery. Mm, do you have a charge event, Is Eisen? Nope. We could just wait here until she comes back. No chance of that happening. She's going to be avoiding me all day. How will we get home now? No, no, you dunce. Quite, quit all that blabbering. She can't be too far yet. Wow, does the power of friendship allow you to sense where she's near? No, but the overwhelming desire to kill sure does. Just as effective. Scary. So long, Aizen. I'll be back to buy a snow globe when we find Sabrina. Yeah, what Joan said. Minus the snow globe. <laughs> this is the most prolonged goodbye ever. You're trying to find a witch, not slay a dragon. Wait. Yeah, in the spotlight, definitely. Why does her face look so smoke on the side? They so. Yeah, our face looks so smoke from the side, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, save files. And we're levels. Uh, hmm. Do we have. Yeah, we do have sound effects, it's just me. Uh, iced tea. I definitely drink this even in winter. It suddenly feels like a town fair. A bit too empty for one, though. Maybe even still in. Cl Sorry, everyone's still in class. Perhaps. <laughs> Can we go that way? No. Hi. Hey there, Eisen. Hello. What do you two want now? How'd you know, Sabrina? I'm her roommate. Uh, what is this place? Sunshine Village! The magical place where dreams go to die, and then reincarnate, and then die again. Lovely. Uh, can you fly? Of course not, I'm still a dragon in training after all. So, are those wings more for decoration? I don't know. Is your face just there for decoration? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Was that supposed to be an insult? <laughs> Easy there, you two. Mm. Phone charger. Like I said, Sabrina's phone is a really old model. Fat chance of you finding anyone with a compatible charger. Oh well, it means we'll have more time to take in the sights. Good sense. She didn't even bother to unbox them. If I were in her place, I wouldn't either. Yeah, good point. That means it makes stealing harder. I never did like cotton candy. Same, it's too sweet. You're too bitter. Finally, someone who agrees with me. Fine. Greetings. I is that a head? Hmm, a bit late for Halloween, don't you think? Should we just walk about it? Around it? Nah, in quest you can't just walk past something like this. So what now? Uh, we ask it questions, I guess. Oh, let me ask first, Ben. Did you happen to see a green-haired girl in a berate walk past here? Okay, me next. Are you real or just some cute holiday prop? Still nothing. Hmm. Why don't you pick her up, Shane? Huh? Why me? Don't you want to go home? Fine. Oh, cool. She's alive. Like I said, the paranormal and occult research club is going to be super jealous. Okay, but what do we do with her? Bring her along with us. Maybe Aizen knows her. Hopefully. Yes, let's pick her up. Just simply put her in our pockets. But not my pressing F1, for goodness sakes. Question mark. You're coming along with us, sweet cakes. I always lose at these games. Same. If I ever win a purple panda plushie, of questionable quality, I die happy. That was oddly specific. Rest in peace, purple, but probably deformed panda. 
There aren't purple pandas. Why does my name look like Chicken Scratch? It was obviously drawn by someone with terrible handwriting. That sucks. Yeah, it does suck, doesn't it? It sucks to suck. What even is this? A shrine to the fallen, to the dead. It literally is you put in uh, sacrifices for Noel. <laughs> it's pretty gritty though. It's a shrine to fallen clowns. Too soon. Yeah, there we go. It is for Noel. <laughs> I'd love to get my fortune told. Would you be one who said this stuff was Hogwish? You can find it in Hogwarts. It's still fun to pretend. Like how Kevin still pretends he has eyebrows? Why'd you bring up so much anyway? He reminds me of a cartoon. And yet you say I'm the nerd? I meant that in a nice way. What do you say, loser? Don't call me a loser. Ah, oh, there's still more to do in this town, eh? I like your train of thought. Hey, hey, hey. Do you know of anyone by the name of this purplish skull? Lillian! Huh? Looks like she does know her. Told ya. Great. First Sabrina, now you. Take her to Tomino. She'll probably know where Lillian's body walked off to. Who? Tomino. Red eyes, giant antlers. It's impossible to miss her. I don't see her anyways. Hmm. Maybe she is the Earth itself. Anyways. Maybe they're the Earth itself. Um, where is the giant antlers? Antlers. Hey, antlers. Look, there's no antlers. Okay. Oh, this one? Ah, greetings. Excuse me, are you Tomino? Yes. Perfect. Oh, I didn't mean to take up too much of your time, but I really like your style. Red's my absolute favorite color. Thanks. Would it be alright if we ask you a question, Tamino? Did. Did what? Already. Oh, well, in that case, could we please ask you another question, Tamino? Thank you. Yeah, what Dwan said. Uh, do you know where we could leave a zombie? Cotton candy. And there. Well then. Farewell, fair Tamino. Wait, where's there? I got this all figured out, don't you worry. But. Blah, 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 go die. You're right. Yeah, Tamino's my favorite character so far, by far. Leave him by Cotton Candy. Well, Lillian, please try staying in peace next time. Will do. Also, ask Tamino? Yes, and here. Cotton Candy? Right for her. Are you talking about Tamino? No. Well, thank you for your help, Lillian. Why has everyone been so cryptic? I don't know why. Maybe you should ask. Let's go see if Tamino knows what's up. Trees. Back to trees. I am Groot. Hi again. Hello. We forgot to ask you if you've seen Jane. Show her the picture. Right, right. Here you go, Joanne. Thank you. Anyway, recognize her? Yes. I. Could you please not be so cryptic, Tamino? No. Oh, come on. It's not like we're in a horror game. Maybe it is. I bet she's talking about the, that green tent in the corner. Milo is probably hiding out there. And what makes you say that? Oh, just a hunch. Thanks a bunch for your help, Tamino. Ditto. Bye. Green tent. Where's the... Oh, this green tent? Ah, oh, one-eyed. Hi there. Oh, you adorable. Hello, I'm Cal Claspio. What brings you to my realm? Hiya, Claspio. Cl 
Calypso, maybe. Why haven't we seen you till now? I was on break. Now, who would like their fortunes told? My predictions have a 50% accuracy rate. So it's either yes or no. Okay. Oh, choose me first. Ask away. Will I ever get that role in the school play? Concentrate and ask again. Is Shane's hair actually red? Ask again later. Wait. Did you get your answers from a magic... Oh, and have you seen a, a green-haired girl earlier? No. And those are all the questions I will take for the day. How many people asked for their fortunes today? Between you two? Only one. Uh, is it because fortune telling is such a strenuous occupation? Nope. I still don't get why Linian gave us cotton candy. Hmm, maybe Malori just had a sweet tooth. Maybe? Well, let's go check back with Aizen. Yeah, let's go back with... Let's go check back with our dragon friend. Hey, Aizen. Hello. Did you find her yet? What about that? Wherever she's gone, it's certainly a mystery. Hmm. I do admit it's kind of pathetic how you two have been running all over the place. Tell you what. I'm pretty sure she'll come back here at the end of the day. Wanna just kill time here until then? It's certainly a step up to whatever it is you two are accomplishing right now. So what it'll be? Hey, I'm not a quitter. Sure, do whatever you want, I don't care. I'm gonna look around some more. Because I'm not a quitter, okay? I'm not a quitter, even if it means I have to investigate every single tile in this godforsaken place. And it's not godforsaken, actually. Uh, let's see. Well, there's no one here yet. No one at the games. Hmm. The more I think about this, the more I actually think that there's nothing going down. Um... Need anything? Nah, we don't need anything. Nothing from you. I already reached my quota for the day. Are you sure? Well, we haven't checked this door yet. Yeah, but I doubt she'd be here of all places. Hmm. I'll just see to that. Uh, what are you doing, Malori? Ah, there she is. I know not of this Malori you speak of, Squeak. Well, since Malori isn't here and we can't give cotton candy to a mouse, we'll have to eat it ourselves. I'm actually a cat, Squeak. Oh, but still too bad. And here we were hoping to return her cell phone as well. You have my, I mean, her, her phone? What's even going on right now? I am but a humble cat, okay? I kind of fell asleep. Give her the cotton candy. Here you go, Malori. Good riddance. Ah, thank you so much. I haven't had any time to sleep the last few days, so this will help me stay awake. And here is your phone. Now you can go back to school once Malori charges her phone. Actually, I can send you back right now. Perfect. Definitely. I'm getting better at teleportation spells. You two will only lose a few limbs at most. Never mind, we can wait. Well, it'll give us more time to chat at least. Sure. Great, then it's settled. Right, Miluri? Um. Mm. Uh, okay, then I guess there's not much we can do but wait some more. Why? What's we always waiting around? Ending three. Return home, please. Yep. Yep. Yay. Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. Other endings to seek. Still gonna look around some more. And let's pick the other choice of just giving up a phone. I think that would be the best choice. 
Yep, Melurius here. Hmm. A mouse, a cat, whatever. The food chain is still as it is. I'll turn on cell phone. I'm not giving you the candy. Right, now that everything's settled, here's your phone, Malori. Thank you. Ah, uh, now what do we do now? Wait for to wake up, I guess. Any two. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, little one. Anyone must be about just waiting for Malori to wake up. Well, to re actually return back into place. Naturally, without us finding her. Perfect. Yeah, no we haven't. Yes, it certainly is a mystery, and it is pathetic how we keep running around without any success. Yeah, let's just kill some time. Let's not waste any time on finding her. Yeah, let's stay here. I guess stay here it is then. Wonderful. And now all we do is wait. Waiting. How is she not here yet? She can teleport back and forth between dimensions, you know. She's probably just back at your school looking for her phone. My goodness. Ending one. Waiting game. So basically, we did from the best ending to the worst ending in terms of, like, the conclusion of these endings. Okay. But that, folks, is the little game called Spotlight. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. Thank you so much to the developer for making this game. This has actually been a little wonderful fantasy tale. But have a wonderful day, folks. Check out Time Ally if you have any chance to. That is a lovely, lovely horror game. That is currently in Chapter 0 built. And Chapter 1 is currently being built. But take care of yourselves, folks. And have a wonderful day.